All right, so let us look at some terms and basic ideas that are associated with the polynomials. Okay, so first and foremost, how do we define polynomials? So the formal definition of polynomial says that polynomials are algebraic expressions that have only whole numbers whole numbers as the exponents of the variables right this is the main idea that you need to understand whole numbers as exponents of the variables so let us try to understand this using example now if we were to take example of a polynomial or let's say an algebraic expression which is x cube minus x square plus x plus 20. Now if you look at the exponent to the variable that is you know if you look at the exponent to the variable x so you have x to the power 3 x to the power 2 and x to the power 1. So this actually is a polynomial right because all these powers 3 2 and you know you can write this as x to the power 1 is 1. Now let us look at a couple of examples algebraic expressions that are not a polynomial. So one very simple example is x plus 1 by x. Now you can see that in the first term of this expression you are raising x to the power 1 but this 1 by x can actually be written as x plus x to the power minus 1. As you can see, minus 1 is not a whole number, so this algebraic expression is not a polynomial. Similarly, if you are given something like square root of y plus 3, this is also not a polynomial because y is raised to the power 1 half, right? And therefore, it is not a whole number. The exponent of this variable y is not a whole number and hence it is not a polynomial. So that is the basic idea of what is a polynomial and what is not defined as a polynomial. Now let us try to understand the three key terms that you must understand in relation to the polynomial. So the first thing is terms, right? So polynomial is simply an algebraic expression with a few terms added or subtracted. So if we take our earlier example, so if we look at this x cube minus x square plus x plus 20. Very simply, this is all these, that is x cube, x square, x and 20. So there are four terms in this polynomial. Now what, what do we mean by coefficients? Coefficients simply mean the constant numbers that are multiplied by the variables in the polynomial. So if we look at the coefficients of each of the terms, right? So what is the coefficient of x cube? It is 1, right? You can always say 1 multiplied by x cube is 1. The coefficient of x square, what would that be? That is minus 1, right? So it's minus 1 multiplied by x square can be written as minus of x square then the coefficient of x is again 1 and 20 again can be considered as a coefficient of a variable x raised to the power 0 right so that is what we mean by the coefficients coefficients are simply the uh, you know constant numbers that are multiplied with the variables now let us look at the third important term related to the polynomials and that is degree well degree is simply the highest power of the exponent in the polynomial highest power of the exponent so if you look at this example x cube minus x square plus x plus 20 the degree of this polynomial is 3 and why is it 3 because the the highest power of x is 3 similarly let's say if you are given another uh, example where you are said um, x to the power 20 plus x to the power 30. What's the degree of this polynomial? It is 30 because x is raised to the power of 30. Right, so we talked about the terms, you know, the terms, coefficients and degree of a polynomial. Now, you need to understand that there are two special 
types of polynomial which again will be helpful so first is about a constant number right so let's say i've given you a number one or let's say 10 or let's say five are these three numbers polynomials well, they are polynomials and they are an example of constant polynomials. What I mean by that is we can always write a number five. Let's say we have this number five. We can always write at five multiplied by x to the power zero. And you know that when a number is raised to the power zero, it is always equal to one, right? So this actually is an example of a constant polynomial, right? It's, uh, you know, fine. And what is a zero polynomial? Well, as the name suggests, it is just the number zero, right? The number zero is an example of a zero polynomial. And why we call it as a zero polynomial? Because you can represent zero as zero multiplied by x to the power zero, right? So x to the power zero is one, right? And then zero multiplied by one gives you zero again. But so that's why we call the zero as a uh, special polynomial, right? So zero is a special polynomial. Now, you need to understand that all the examples of the polynomials we looked in this video, they are having only one variable, right? So we either had X or Y or Z. So you can have like either one variable or you could even have more than one variable in a polynomial. So generally you would write a polynomial, let us say P of X, which means that we are talking about a polynomial P whose variable is X and you can write it as X square plus let's say 25. This is an example of a polynomial in one variable. Now you could have more than one variables. In that case, you can write it as, let's say there is a polynomial Q in two variables, X and Y. And just some example, you could have X, Y plus X square plus Y square plus one, right? So this gives you an example of polynomial um, in two variables. You could similarly have polynomial in more than two variables. So yes, so what we have learned, we have learned the definition of polynomials. We've learned the terminology, that is, uh, what are the coefficients, terms, and degree of a polynomial. We also learned about the constant and the zero polynomials. And we also understand the fact that the polynomials necessarily do not have just one variable. They could have more than one variable. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that in this video or in this chapter, uh, we are just going to focus on linear polynomial in one variable, right? We'll deal with just the polynomials in one variable.